Hello everyone, welcome to IGB. I'm Prati Sanutra, going to make a banana cake. So we'll quickly see the ingredients. Here we have four bananas. Instead of four banana, you can take a three banana also if it is right, fully completely. Okay. Otherwise, like you need to take a four bananas. Here I have got three eggs, one spoon of vanilla essence, three spoon of baking powder, one spoon of baking soda or uh, bicarbonate soda, one cup of yogurt. Now, the measurement of all-purpose flour and the sugar is totally depend on yogurt. So what you need to do is you have to use this cup of size of yogurt. If you are using this cup, so our all-purpose flour will be three times of the yogurt. That means one cup of yogurt and the three cup of all-purpose flour. After that, you have to use brown sugar and it's totally depend on your taste. Let's say like uh, I'm going to use here a one and a half cup of brown sugar. Again, the cup size we can measure with the yogurt cup only. Here I have a salt, one and a half spoon of salt. Now these are ingredients we are going to use for a banana cake. Now we'll quickly see the preparation also. So here we are going to blend few items like banana and I'm going to add yogurt and our three eggs. We are going to use our vanilla essence so that it will smell good around one spoon of vanilla essence. Just blend it properly. So here we are ready with our wet ingredients. Now we are transferring our dry ingredients. Here we have a Bicarbonate soda, 1 teaspoon, baking powder, 3 teaspoon, all purpose flour, same cup of yogurt. I am using 3 cups. Second cup. So, this is our third cup. And here we are adding our brown sugar, 1 and a half. So, here, half cup. Last but not least, we are adding a 1 cup of oil or you can use the butter also. This is an alternative of butter. Just mix it nicely and blend it. So our butter is ready. We are done with our... Wow, it seems so yummy. <laughs> It's incomplete but it smells good. So now we'll put into in our cake tray. So our tray is ready. We have to grease with little oil or a butter. Whatever you feel comfortable. So here we go with our cake batter. So just spread it evenly. So now I'm gonna add a salt just to make the balancing of sweetness. At the time of grinding the dry ingredients, you need to add the salt. So now what I'm going to do, I'm adding the salt and just give a nice mix. And your batter is ready. Now we already preheat our oven around 15 to 20 minutes back at 250 degrees Celsius temperature. Now we are gonna shift this tray into an oven. So our oven is hot, so we are going to shift our tray inside. So this is ready. Now we are gonna close this our oven for 30 to 40 minutes. So here our cake is ready. We'll check whether it is baked or not. Yeah. You can see. We have to take a toothpick and we have to check from the several sides. If it sticks, then it means like we need to bake more. But you can see, it's 
totally baked from all sides. So our banana cake is ready. We are going to cut it into small pieces. So our lovely sponge cake is ready. We are going to try this. As you can see, this is so soft because we put lots of lot of eggs here and our baking soda and there are so many things we added that become very soft. Sugar is accurate. I really like it. Please do try it in your home. You will feel proud of yourself. Happy cooking. Bye bye.